The president of the people, the, the, the most humble person I've ever seen as a president, today is going into the seat as number one citizen of Sierra Leone. You as a star or a celebrity, what convinced you to be here? Because he convinced me he was in my birthday in London. And he took me out when I came to shoot Ibu in London, Ibu, Ibu in Sierra Leone, yeah? He took me out. A humble man, the same load. Ordinary Ibu. Hey, hey, why wouldn't I be here? Talking of London, as you and I know, many Nigerians in London, many Sierra Leoneans, what would, be, what would be your message to them, as you and I know? There are lots of them there, and over here as well. Just help me tell them that development has come to Sierra Leone again. And let me tell you, this place, Sierra Leone, in the next four years, it will never remain the same again. Just a final one before you go, as a lot of people wanted to talk to you. What would be your message to all Sierra Leoneans who will be watching your interview today? Keep smiling and be happy, because there's obvious development here, I tell you. Because this man is not an apprentice on this seat. He was here. God bless you, sir. But he's, taking, he's taking the flag up. I'm here to celebrate. I'm here to be part of development. I'm here to be part of us. I mean, we are here to pledge our loyalty to our country, Sierra Leone. As a celebrity in this country and a former sportsman, what does this mean to you? Celebration. Okay, celebrating the new government and uh, uh, for me, when you look at the, the initiative and the new roadmap for sports in the country, I think it's very, very interesting. Moreover, football is the paramount sport in Sierra Leone and we've been out for four years, football is not playing. So I think with a new minister and a new direction, once more, our kids will use the stadium for football and not for ceremonies like this. Talking of football, over the past couple of years, you and I will know the football has not been great in this country. Do you have hope that this will change at all? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's my interest in, uh, with the new minister, it's intention and a good initiative from them. I think we have to come together and seek the interest of the game. Seeking the interest of the game means we have to get the people around that have the technical knowledge, technical know-how, and seek the interest of the country. Because at the end of the day, 95% of the youth in this country love football. So we have to give them what they deserve. If I can look back uh, during your career, uh, 10 years back, um, at the time of your, when you were pitching your career, football was in great in this country, and then you were a top star in Europe. Um, having said that, do you think with this government, with all the promises that have been made, they'll be able to fulfill them? Oh, yes, obviously, the, the past government did their best, but um, why I'm optimistic is because the, the, the current president uh, was in the M of Affairs 25 years ago and we went to two Nations Cup and two, we won two Zone 2s. So I think with his love for sport, I think in, things will come back to normal and Sierra Leone will get to the height where we deserve to be. What would you like to be as the priority? Ah, for now, I just want to focus on letting the game play. Let me say the next 90 days to see that football play once more. We give the kids and the young talent the opportunity to play football. What does Mohamed Kalon do now as a former footballer? Um, I'm, current, I'm currently in the uh, United States. I'm working with the Houston Dynamo. I coach the U19 in the Houston Dynamo. Um, are you looking forward, probably people are saying, uh, for you to be announced as a sport minister or to have a post in the government? That's what I'm saying. That's all secondary issue. For me, as a sportsman, as a football-loving fan, I want to see football play in my country in recent time. Then other secondary issues, I'll we think about it later. And just a final one from me. What would be your message to your fans out there and to Sierra Leoneans? Uh, let's keep the hope and uh, I know things are going to turn around. Sierra Leone football is going to get to the height where everybody wants it to be.